All right, it's Carlos here. I'm making a video uh, earlier than I thought I would. I thought I was going to turn my phone off. I need to, but um, I'm in complete darkness pretty much, although there's still the light enough, um, the light pollution light. Oof, I gotta get out of the way anyways, because the car's coming now. Okay. But I'm at a wetlands. I don't know if you can hear, there's frogs out here, so, um, let me be quiet for a minute. In a second, you're gonna hear the car coming. Oh, <laughs> it's facing me, not... Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um... Funny how dark it is. I do have a headlamp. I could use it, but there's frogs going nuts out here. There, let me turn this around. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. It's hard to tell what I'm doing here. So, um. Okay. So out there, there's lots of frogs. I don't know if my audio catches it, but actually cars cars are coming by every so often. Um, but I wanted to reiterate something um, that is important to note. Frogs will be one of the first things to be hurt uh, and either be displaced or killed. <laughs> Love the frog. Yeah, Jeff Epstein also has uh, Kermit as his... Uh, <laughs> so I didn't even think of that till now. Um, I love the frogs too. So, uh, but yeah, they're going to be the, one of the first things hurt because um, the construction, before the pipe even has gas running through, just the construction to, to uh, do the HDD drilling, there's a displacement of um, bentonite clay, which is funny because I've heard of bentonite clay as a, as a health solution before, and it is actually pretty good for your digestive system in the same way that activated charcoal is. But um, it floats on top of water and the problem is the bentonite clay basically smothers streams and wetlands um, for a time and that kills basically the food source of the frogs and maybe even kills the little tadpoles, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, frogs uh, will be very negatively affected pretty early on and there are wetlands all throughout this this walk that I'm doing tonight. Um, I'm not even close to where the other ones are. But here, let me see if I could get a little more. That's my red light. Okay. Yeah, it just doesn't pick it up on my phone. It's probably better that the light, I don't know how to use it because it's gonna drain my battery anyways, but. Uh, all right. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure that people knew, you know, everybody's sleeping, but the frogs are alive and well out here. Let's keep them that way. Um, and I had one other thing I was going to say. I don't remember. Well, you know what? I did already have some adventure. Um, I was walking down the road. Yeah, this will actually... Yeah, I'm going to keep walking. I need to keep moving. Um, and a... Uh, car went by very very fast and when you're on the side of a smaller road like 528 in Chesterfield um, a car going by very fast really you really notice it um, and I stepped off into the grass and the car went by I later found out I'll tell you why I found out it was going approximately 68 miles per hour um, when it went by me and then probably 10 seconds later another car flies by and as it's getting close, I'm like thinking, oh, is that a cop? Because I realized that the other guy's speeding. And it was, it was a police officer chasing, uh, not, he didn't have his lights on yet, but going to go give the guy, uh, pull him over for going pretty fast. But then the cop saw me, I guess. And uh, I should call him officer. I don't think that's derogatory, but anyways, I got um, pulled over myself, a walker or, you know, not pulled over, but uh, 10 minutes later. And the officer actually knew who I was. And he said, oh, didn't you do his walk like a week ago? Because <laughs> he had read it somewhere. And I, I, you know, I told him why I had to postpone it. But um, 
is very uh, concerned because I'm doing it at night, so I should uh, just step off into the grass, you know, whenever I can. Oh, you're starting to see stuff now. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so that was interesting. Got to meet an officer who already knew who I was. My reputation preceded me in Chesterfield, so uh, hopefully, um, you know, more and more news and awareness gets out and different members of the community can all come together and stand uh, stand up against this thing. But I am going to say goodnight uh, for now again and maybe I'll post something in a few hours, I don't know. And goodnight to you Citizens Media TV. There will be more to come. so. Keep looking forward. I don't have a cliffhanger to end on to make it really exciting, but that's probably a good thing. Uh, I'm just gonna walk and enjoy being out here in some beautiful land, and hopefully it stays this way and isn't disrupted unnecessarily by some pipeline that's dangerous. Alrighty, adios.